Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. Hey, today is way back Wednesday. This is the first time that I'm participating in this open tag. And I believe this open tag was uh, started by our good friend Warthog. And so Warthog, thank you for opening, uh, for starting this open tag. Uh, with me, I have a lot of old knives, so this should be a good series to uh, participate in and, and to be able to showcase some old knives. I've got a knife here, a Remington fixed blade. I don't know, I think I briefly have mentioned it on the channel, but I've never really done a review on it. So we're going to be going over this old fixed blade knife and uh, kind of doing a little bit of a book review here. So not only can you find really neat old knives in antique stores, sometimes you can find really neat books there also. So I ran across this book in an antique store and paid just a few dollars for it. And I want to give credit here. The authors are Ron Stewart and Roy Ritchie. And the book is published by Collector's Book, a division of Schroeder Publishing Company. And if you want to contact them, it's uh, www.collectorbooks.com. So it's, uh, it's a really nice book here. It's got a lot of great information. It goes over the Remington history. Um, of course, Remington was started in 1816 by... Uh, Remington and they hand built a lot of uh, rifles at the time and then uh, World War I came along so then of course they produced a, a lot of uh, arms uh, during World War I. Well then after the war ended they were like uh oh what are we going to do now to make a dollar. So they decided to enter the cutlery business. So when was it here? In uh, February 9th, 1920, the first knife, the R103, came off the assembly line. And then a promotional campaign was put in place. And uh, they only wholesaled knives, and all its knives were trademarked Remington. In less than a year and a half, they had outlets in every state but Nevada. And by 1931, they were producing nearly 3 million knives a year. And... They were selling them in 48 states and had sales outlets in 60 foreign countries. Then came the Depression and businesses and hardware wholesalers failed all over the globe. Remington faced bankruptcy. So then that's when DuPont bought the company. And in the mid-30s, they reduced the number of models to over 1,000 patterns to just over 300. And then, of course, World War II came along. Remington decided to... Uh, you know, focus its uh, production on arms, so they sold its cutlery operation, machinery, and stock to Powell Blade Company and converted its plant back to manufacture of firearms. So sometime during the 70s, Remington contract with, with Camillus to produce its bullet lines of knives and sales of these knives as years knives began in 1982. So... Kind of a brief history overview of Remington, but when we look at the book, we've got a page here on the different parts of the knife. It's got all the different blade patterns that they used through the years. It's got a page here on showing all the different shields that they used, their numbering system, um, their cover materials, what the codes meant. Just a very interesting knife, uh, knife, very interesting book showing here how to sharpen and oil the knife parts, handle materials. It looks to be a pretty uh, comprehensive book. But anyway, what we're here to look at today is this fixed blade knife here. And this is the RH-28. You can see the Remington stamp there. And then it's kind of hard to see, but the Remington UMC stamp there. And I've got a picture of the knife here in the book. So we look at it here. 
Let's see, RH28, blade length 4.5 inches, overall length 8.5 inches. Handle is hard rubber and embossed with pressed design. And I guess these prices, now this book came out in 2005, I think. So the, I guess these are uh, prices if you were to find like a new old stock knife. Uh, they're saying it's worth $200. So, Remington fixed blade knives, they made them from 1920 to 1940, and they said it's designed to meet every emergency of the hunter, trapper, fisherman, sportsman, camper, and outdoorsman. Nickel silver guard, hilt, cast aluminum head, or cast aluminum head butt, yeah, uh, blade and hang forged from one piece steel, handles made of leather, pyrolin brass, and colored fiber discs. Permanently locked with countersunk brass nut edge set ready for use. Oak leather sheaths with all knives. Now as you look at this knife, you can see it doesn't quite match the description of that I just read. Or it doesn't quite match the picture, does it? So those hard rubber, I think they would uh, eventually crack. So again, I bought this in an antique store. So somebody spent the time and made a very nice replacement wood handle for this. It, it is really nice. Somebody, somebody knew what they were doing when they made this. Yeah. And then we take a look at the sheath. And it, the sheath never made sense to me. Because if you look down on here... And I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but it looks like there's a flower there. And there's some other scroll work. But it looks like there's some initials down here. HRP or HPP. or I just can't quite read them. And then, of course, you got the, the red thread here. Well, I'm like, well, somebody just made another sheath for the knife. But if you look up here on the snap, the button does say Remington UMC on it. So what I've kind of concluded here is maybe the sheath was in bad shape, so they unstitched it, they cut a new piece here, and re and before they stitched it on, they, they personalized it and then restitched it with this red thread. I don't know. Somebody really liked this knife, though. <laughs> But we can see the blade shape there. It's been used some. Now, I did sharpen this up, and uh, I have used it. It is comfortable in the hand. you got this really nice jimping up here. So, yeah, it's still a wonderful knife, even though it is not in its original form. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, a Way Back Wednesday video on an old Remington fixed blade knife, the RH-28. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this video, and as always, go out and have a very delightful day.